Hi, this is Chris Davis of Slashgear, and this is the new Pebble Steel. It's Pebble's second generation of hardware. Uh, it'll go on sale alongside the original Pebble smartwatch, uh, which stays on sale 149. The new Steel will be 249. And it's designed to appeal to maybe an audience that might not have found the, the plastic and uh, toughened original styling of the, the first gen Pebble uh, to be to their liking. So it uh, uses a uh, aluminum case now uh, with there's a uh, aluminum band, or a steel band I should say, uh, and it'll come with a leather band in the pack. And there are both black and steel versions uh, with uh, black leather band uh, and silver steel band uh, depending on the colour of the watch you pick. And as you might be able to see it uses the same uh, four button layout as the original Pebble, and that's because inside and the display itself is all exactly the same as before, so applications that have been uh, written to run on the first Pebble will still run on the second Pebble, which is obviously a good thing uh, if you're an app developer, and there are quite a few of those, about 2,600 uh, at the moment, and increasing by around 100 a day, we're being told. One of the cool new apps that we're um, including uh, with the upgraded firmware that's coming out at the end of um, at the end of January is a notifications app. So you can finally uh, finally see a list of all of the notifications that you've received even after you dis dismiss the notification on your Pebble. So that's yeah. something that a lot of people have requested, and we uh, we built into the next version of the firmware. Um, oh yeah, so I mentioned a couple partners that we've begun working with. Mm -hmm. So the Yelp app, uh, we partnered with Yelp to create basically like a Pebble local app. Um, this is an app where you can quickly and easily see what's around you. You know, Pebble doesn't have a GPS, so it actually leverages the GPS on your phone. Um, and it has a cool feature that uses the accelerometer. When you do a gesture like that, it actually goes to the internet and finds the location around you. This is a steakhouse. Okay. Uh, it's pretty well rated. It's 359 feet away. Okay. So if we wanted yeah, steak right like, now, we can go and get that. I kind of did. Yeah. You can even get reviews. So let's see some reviews for this place. Uh, four to five rack of lamb. I'm actually pretty hungry. Um, yeah, so, but, you know, that's the Yelp app for Pebble. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we, the reason why it's designed like this is because it doesn't replace the Yelp app on your mm -hmm. phone. Like, you can still, um, you'll still need that to post reviews and stuff like that, but the core functionality, like, what's around me, you can get right on your wrist. Same with the Foursquare app. So the Foursquare app is optimized for check-in. It uses the GPS on your phone. It finds a couple locations around you so you can quickly move around, and then with one button you can check in. Okay. It's quite cool. Let's see what else we got. Uh, ESPN. So ESPN um, sports app for Pebble tracks all the games that are happening right now. So this is NBA games, um, but we can switch leagues to, the fo to football, uh, American football, and actually shows you live scores from what's happening right now. Okay. So we're looking at uh, Kansas City. And you can quickly switch between it's 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 actually going to the internet with every time I do a button click and it's super quick. Okay. Uh, the guys at Pandora wanted to make an app that takes it one step further. Um, a lot of people when they're listening to Pandora will keep their phone sitting in a uh, sitting in a um, Bose sound dock or something mm -hmm. like that and walk around. Or maybe they've got headphones on. And when you're doing that, you're missing out on like the key functionality from Pandora, which is upvoting and downvoting mm -hmm. songs. Um, so these guys built an app where you can control Pandora right from your watch, um, rate songs, and that, but then you can also change stations on Pandora. So if you want to switch between um, dubstep to churches, you can do that right there. It's thinner than before, it's lighter, it uses a new uh, power connector which is slightly smaller, uh, has a stronger magnet and uh, is colour coded so it's easier to find in your bag. Uh, but even though it's uh, now got this metal casing, it's still water resistant to the same five atmospheres as the original Pebble. So uh, it's a really nice improvement. If you were put off the first Pebble by the, the aesthetics, the plastic wasn't for you, then this metal version is uh, considerably uh, nice, a bit classier perhaps if you're looking for something which will go with a suit rather than uh, with a hoodie. Uh, it'll be on sale from January 28th as being announced here at CES 2014 and as we said $249 versus the $149 of the original Pebble which stays on sale. Thanks very much for watching.